What is up? This is your boy the E-Bike Guy back again with another video. And as you can see before me right here, we have a 52 volt 20 amp hour battery. And it is by Unic Pack Power. So this is uh, the case that going in. So the customer sent me this battery and want me to make this a 50, uh, 72 volt 20 amp hour battery. So um, here's the cells that I got from 18650 battery store and these are EVE cells these are um so these are 5 amp hour cells these are actually on the charger because the owner is something this battery with a full charge so what I got to do now is I got to bring these cells up to charge to match the voltage on the battery because if you don't if you put these cells hook them up all in parallel series what's going to happen is the the, the current or the full charge batteries is going to rush into these cells which might cause them to overheat and we don't want that so now oh, so now we're going to be bringing those cells up and then uh, and then we're going to modify this to run 72 volts we're not going to be running no BMS as of course because the BMS is uh, 14S and uh, we're not going to be doing that but anyway so that's what we can do in the day and uh, yeah, we're gonna modify this. Also, we got to modify the case, so that way the extra cells is gonna be sticking out on the top, and then we're gonna heat shrink it, and then uh, yeah, let's get that done. So yeah, all right. Anyways, so this is gonna be a little short video. We're gonna get these cells charged up, and then I'm gonna show you how we're gonna put them in. All right, so here we are. We have a finished uh, 72 volt battery pack. So this was a 60 volt battery. My mistake. I thought it was a 52 volt, but it was actually a 60 volt battery, and I made it 72. Uh, you see we have some uh, industrial hot glue believe it or not The companies that people rely on and how they think of them use the same type of glue uh, When they use a cell holders it's The same type of glue so there's no difference um, So that's what I'm using also um, Also, I have a better soldering iron too and I have my charging station to charge these cells so yeah, I'm getting better, you know what I'm saying, better and better at building these batteries, you know what I mean? So this is high current nickel. This is 0.3 by 15 millimeter nickel. Um, so so it's high, high capacity. Also, I got it uh, connected here. Then I have um, actually two rows of 0.2 millimeter nickel strip uh, connected from, uh, I think this is a 617S. And then uh, goes on to like 18 that's right here so anyway so yeah we're gonna go ahead and see what we can do to fit this in the um, in the in the case we want to uh, open her up at the top part so that way these cells is gonna be sticking out but uh, all this is gonna be protected and matter of fact I'm gonna go get the protector tape put the leads on and then uh, and then hopefully have a uh, heat shrink that I can heat shrink this all up together right here. So yeah, still got some more work to do. Still got to cover this up, and then then still got to cover, uh, chop this off, and hopefully we have the right heat shrink. I think this is too big though, but I got some small ones in the back that we can fit over this and uh, make it look more professional, look like Nomi. So yeah, I'm just just trying to trying to get it all taped up. I got the the charging lead connected, discharge leads connected also. Uh, and it's going to be exactly going to slide into the crater at the bottom. So, so yeah, we're still getting it. All right, so it's almost finished. I have the uh, the crater on, I have the cover on. And there it is right there. So hopefully I have some heat shrink. I can heat shrink this uh, around. And then um, after I heat shrink that around, I mean, it still re retains the lock and everything too. So... And just now with 72 volts, 20 amp hour, we're going to, uh, to make it look a little bit better by heat shrinking this. Hopefully I have it in the back. And if I do, that's a good thing. And we can go ahead and wrap this up and mail it, ship it off to the customer. All right. Well, I tried to find some heat shrink. I didn't have none uh, small enough to fix this. So, uh, but anyways, let me go ahead and uh, test the voltage right quick. So let me go get my voltmeter. Actually, I'm using the... The Tesman voltmeter, which I had reviewed not too long ago. So we're gonna go ahead and put our leads on. Let's see here. So we have neg uh that's negative, I believe. Let's see. 
can't really see it. Yeah, it's negative. And then we're gonna go to positive. So I was going to test to make sure we got good voltage. And we do, we got 81 volts. Hold on, I just slipped off of it. There we go. So we're good to go. I mean, it is ready to go. Also, we have the cradle. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, mount that in there. I'm gonna lock it up. Um, actually, let me flip this upside down. Cause you know, I'm doing this with one hand. So it's a little bit difficult for me to do it with, you know, all right, then we're gonna lock that key so it won't go nowhere. And now we're gonna put this in the put this in the box and ship it to the uh, customer so he can actually get it. Uh, also, I had put some foam down here, back here, so that the way the battery doesn't move. Also, this has been reinforced with a lot of tape, so it's not gonna get scratched up. Also, it has um, some fish paper. So I have rolled this on there too, and we use insulator rings, and then um, and yeah, and then we had the uh, glue gun which is sitting right there. We had to use that to secure the wires in place so that way um, it doesn't move or get scratched up or anything like that. So anyway, so yeah, that is the that is the that is the uh, build of this 72 volt now battery. Um, unit pack power was a 60 volt, so 20 amp hours. So the customer's gonna be happy. I'm gonna get ready to ship it out. I just wanted to, uh, to share that. You you can also do this too if you have one of these batteries. Make sure it has some good cells in it. That way you can actually can match them. And uh, also make sure that it's 50% uh, charged. So that way you don't have to actually charge your cells individual to match the voltage of the cell that's already in this um, battery pack, okay? So I just wanna share y'all with that. And anyway, so I'm gonna go ship this out to the customer. Uh, let me know what y'all think in the comments. Yes, I know if I could have been better if I had heat shrink, it'd have been look better. But um, but I didn't have that at the time. So yeah, I, I just need to get more stuff like that. You know what I mean? So that way, when I when something like this does come in, I'll be prepared. But yeah, but this is done. It works. It's functional. So yeah, I'm gonna uh, go ahead and uh, ship this to the customer. And uh, yeah, this is it for the, um, this build video or modification of this uh, 60 volt. 272 volt unit pack power battery and yeah this is the e-bike guy channel and i'll see y'all in the next one peace